Yeah, so I have started the recording as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so afterwards, uh, footprinting would have been covered, in which uh, your active footprinting and your passive footprinting would have been covered. Okay. Your uh, domain lookup would have been performed using who is. Okay. Yep. Then what is reverse domain lookup? What is a shared server? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me remove this idea. Okay, so what was the last thing that you remember that was covered? Anything uh, that that you remember? So we did a footprinting. Uh, we uh, we went through some of the websites as well. Yeah. Yep, and uh, we take a look uh, the vulnerability a little bit. Yeah. Attack types, some of them. Yeah. Okay, so we already start working on a uh, Kali Linux as well. So okay, we so some... your yeah. lab was set up. Uh, your virtual machines were set up. No, uh, my virtual machine. No, we didn't set it up anything. We just trying to get it lin uh, Kali in my system. But yeah. uh, what I did it uh, instead of uh, putting the. Uh, you know vmware i just start doing the uh, new system because i had it uh, lots of laptops so i put it uh, in my one of my laptops the kali linux so i can just uh, you know not rely on that uh, the uh, virtual machines okay so you have a dedicated laptop for kali linux right yep totally <clears throat> Okay, but we didn't no need anything on there. <laughs> okay, so but later on, uh, in a module afterwards, we will need a uh, virtual machine as well. Okay, there's going to be a requirement for installing a vulnerable virtual machine. Okay, mm -hmm. so for that, Second. please ensure that, yeah, so for that, you need to have VirtualBox or VMware uh, installed on your host operating system okay no worry yeah not a problem okay so your lab setup part was i believe that was covered already okay then you would have been walked through some basic command line interface that uh, what is yep. um, basic linux command so before that um, um, may i know what is your current exposure to the linux operating system how much do you Nothing know about it and how what is the comfort level that you have with the linux distros i never i never worked on a linux so i know. just never did actually linux so i'm just start uh, working on a linux so some of the commands uh, i already printed out and start working on those commands as well because uh, you can i can i found it uh, lots of uh, commands online like i tech hacks so i start uh, printing out and trying to use it some of them okay 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 no issues so <clears throat> and i believe round about third or fourth module uh, some basic linux commands would have been covered okay yeah so you want me to go through those commands uh if you can today yeah definitely so Let me open my virtual machine. So in Canada also, is there a state of lockdown or everything is working normally there? 
uh, most of the place are closed down right here just like uh, uh, you can say some of the regular stuff like uh, medical and crochets like those things are open other than that most of the hotels restaurants and other uh, gardens parks everything is like done done <laughs> only the necessary items are available mm. yep they they don't like to open anything until everything is sorted out right which virtual machine do i have it cancel 14 no i don't need 14 software update check update I, I went on and bought it uh, a virtual machine as well, VMware. So, okay, so. <clears throat> basically before starting with the linux i'll uh, i generally show this timeline to people to my students let me show it to you linux timeline where is it So this is uh, your Linux timeline, okay? And in this image, you, you can see all the variety of Linux distros that are available out there in the market, okay? Mm -hmm. And the point where these lines get separated or they get split, this is called your forking, okay? Forking? <clears throat> yeah, forking. so what do we need to understand here is that this is your original uh, the i would say the parent of linux okay essentially all these linux systems that they have common is your the kernel okay they use the same linux kernel okay what else they do is how do how do they differentiate is that they build up a little bit of code upon that Linux kernel. Okay, so we can mm -hmm. consider it as an example of a, a cake. Okay, the mm -hmm. crust of all the cakes are going to be same. Only the icing of the cake is going to vary. Okay, if I do a nice chocolate icing, it becomes a chocolate cake. Okay, if I do a mango ice cream, it becomes a mango cake. Okay, so <clears throat> similarly, in these, uh, here we have got variety of Linux distributions. So what these people have done is the developers, operating system developers out there, they have tried uh, uh, with their own custom codes. They have tried building upon the basic code, that's your mm -hmm. kernel code. And over that, they have tr tried changing the icing, okay, which led to the origin of different operating systems. Okay. <coughs> okay. And in here, we will, we can see our Kali Linux as well. Okay, it's here, right here. So Kali Linux is basically your upgraded version of Backtrack. Okay, so Backtrack was its uh, initial operating system, which was then later on updated and modified to 
uh, and rebranded with the name of Kali Linux. Mm-hmm. Okay. Before Backtrack, we used to have Auditor Security Linux, and all these uh, update chains can be seen in this graph. Okay, and this Auditor Security Linux was forked from Notix. Notix. K A N O T I X. Okay. Okay. And this Notix was forked from Nopix. And this Nopix was forked from Debian. Let me take it. Here it is. Okay. So basically, from here we got to know that our Kali Linux is a Debian-based Linux. Okay. <clears throat> that its origin lies in the Debian based distros. Okay, so so what's the Debian actually? Like a programming language? No, no, it's not a programming language. So majorly, uh, the so see initially we did not used to have all these variety of uh, operating systems okay we only used to have unix based operating systems so there was only one thing that was unix okay mm-hmm. so what happened was unix was proprietary it was paid okay then okay. came this guy called linus linus pro worlds okay linus pro worlds this was the man who developed the linux kernel linux yeah yeah it was a free operating system yeah right so he was inspired from this unix based operating system but he realized that uh, this he wanted that all the people out there need not pay for this operating system okay Mm -hmm. so what he did was he developed his own kernel based upon Mm -hmm. the unix operating system so he built this linux kernel okay okay on this linux kernel in those initial days <coughs> it was just a kernel okay on that kernel so a cake only becomes a cake when an icing is uh, done over it right so yep. once these people out there as it was an open source operating system okay open source kernel so people around the globe started modifying the the code of this uh, system and they tried um, building their own custom GUIs and CLIs to it. So, so your their custom graphical user interfaces, okay, okay? just to distinguish uh, different operating systems. So your Debian, Slackware are those initial distros that were created out of Linux kernel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ubuntu is also here. You can see. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yes. Yeah, did you just got disconnected? Maybe. No. I'm on the screen. You still switching? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so here we are with this uh, Linux distro installed. Okay, okay. and in here, either we can use graphical user interface to navigate our way around, okay, or to make our way around. But uh, instead, what we are going to do is we are going to rely on the command line interface for the majority of the part. Okay, we'll understand what are these commands, how can we use these commands, what are the variety of commands that are uh, at our disposal okay so <clears throat> so the first command that i am going to tell you is your pwd okay pwd basically stands for your present working directory okay mm-hmm. that in which directory you are currently working in it okay. gives you that directory 
okay so similarly in windows you can see that this is the uh, the path where i'm currently in right you can see it in this uh, yep top top section yeah yep so that is your current working directory yes okay. yep. in the windows in linux you can see it like uh, by typing pwd it tells you that what is your current working directory okay now let's say i want to uh, list uh, the files and folders that are in my current working directory for that the command is going to be your ls okay so ls is basically to list files and folders that are there in your present working directory okay okay so basically what do i understand is i am currently in slash root directory and in here i have got these various files and folders okay now an interesting thing to know here is <coughs> that i can see variable colored output okay. yeah so blue so uh, are you aware of this color encoding no okay so blue basically is going to represent the directories okay Okay. the red color is going to represent the zipped files okay okay and normal white color are going to be your generic files normal files whatever file it is okay blue is for so directory. red is a zip file blue is yeah. a directory yeah. like a folders and yeah. the general white is just a file names and the files yeah it can be any type of file okay so other than ls now let's say i want to move into some folder i move mm -hmm. i want to move into some other directory okay let's say now from here i want to move into desktop okay as i can see that there is a directory named desktop now i want to move inside it yeah for that the command line interface for the command is your cd cd is for your change Come directory on. change directory yeah change directory followed by a space and further followed by the directory name that you want to move into okay okay another th key thing that i need to keep in mind that you need to keep in mind is that this terminal is case sensitive okay so your capital d small e s k t o p is not equals to small d e s k t o p okay yeah these are two different terms mm -hmm. okay so if uh, my directory name is starting from a capital letter capital alphabet mm -hmm. so, so i have I to put it capital yeah press enter and now you can see that i have moved into the desktop directory let me do a yep. pwd and i can see the path has already been changed yeah okay okay now again i can do an ls to list files and folders in this directory okay so i can further move into any directory by simply typing cd followed by a directory name okay yep. so <clears throat> what if if i want to move backwards okay i so want to we go... just put a cd actually is that right yeah cd yeah okay I I use that once actually. Yep. Yeah. So what CD is going to do is without any argument. If I'm going to type CD without any argument, it is going to take me to my home directory. Okay. Wherever I am, I it is going to take me to my home directory, and the home directory is where your terminal starts from. Okay. Yep. Whatever is your home directory. 
okay so now let's say if i want i i moved into desktop okay desktop and in here i move to okay so currently i am in desktop okay yep now i want to create new directory okay how can i create new directory so new folder yeah for that the command is very simple that is your mkdir that is your make directory the yeah, create new folder is mkdir Okay, mkdir space followed by your directory name, whatever folder name that you want to provide. Okay, let's say now name here, do an ls, and now I can see that a new folder has been created. Okay, okay, this was not previously available. Now let's move into this folder. Mm -hmm. do an ls and i can see that this folder is empty nothing there okay nothing is outputting me mm -hmm. as the output of this ls command yeah okay okay now let's say i want to clear my screen how can i clear my screen uh i know windows <laughs> but i don't know linux actually yeah so that's pretty simple here to clear your window simply type clear and it is going to clear your terminal okay press enter and the terminal has been cleared okay so if we want to move to move back to desktop from navnit folder so yeah. how we do that actually yeah so that's why i created a new folder that if i'm going to do cd without any argument it is not going it will, to take me to the desktop folder. It is yeah. directly going to jump to my home directory. Yep. The two directories back, two directories yep. upward. Okay. Yep. So if I want to move one directory up, what I need to mm -hmm. do is cd space dot dot. Oh, same command. Just a space. Same command as in? Windows. Okay. CD. CD, CD space dot dot. Press enter, and I can see now that I have moved one directory upwards. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So here you can see that. Uh, in my terminal it shows me the path my current working directory as well in the terminal itself yeah okay but you can see that this path is starting from this tilde sign yep so basically your this tilde sign represents your home your home directory oh okay. so if i want to move into my home directory what I can do is either I can do cd mm -hmm. or I can do cd space tilde and okay. it is going to take me to my home directory so basically cd and cd space tilde are going to do one and the same thing yep okay so that would be all for today navneet okay mm -hmm. from tomorrow i'll be continuing from this point itself okay yep. we'll go through the basic uh, other linux uh, command line interface okay no, i like and it then... i like it because uh, if i don't know anything about linux i would rather go a little bit of linux and move forward that way it would be way easier for me to understand what we are doing over there yeah right, right. Yep. <clears throat> totally understand. Yep. So uh, let's uh, move forward from there tomorrow. Yeah, right. right. And I'll just uh, text uh, the admin over there and I'll let her know. Okay. Yeah, sure.
Okay, thank you. And you stay safe. Yeah, same to you. Have a nice time. Yeah. Okay. Is is institute is open or are you doing like a online classes? No, uh, institute is closed. Uh, yeah. We are having 